black and white. Alright, so currently it is Wednesday. I've got training tonight with Hawkehurst. Had training last night with Langton. That was actually a really good session. Yesterday I didn't film a dinner because I forgot all I had was beans on toast. So you don't really need to see that. I haven't spoken to Camry yet this week. There's not really been much going on. It's been half term, so I've just been training every day to be honest. Obviously Monday was my rest day. I trained yesterday, went down to the park. It's so boggy down there now though. So today I didn't even bother going down there, I just went out the back and did keep you up for probably about two hours and I know you're saying like thinking keep you ups isn't doing that much, it actually is, it's increasing your control and touch and just mastery of the ball quite a lot. Also I did quite a few with my weak foot only so that's really testing it, you may have seen from the footage. My weak foot doesn't look that good and that's because it's not actually that good. That's one of my main weaknesses, but I haven't decided to work too much on that just yet because I know during the winter months, there'll be a majority of days when it gets too dark at four o'clock where I can't go down to the park because the light will have faded. So I'll only be doing keepy ups like in my shed or something. So I know that I can work on that then. So I'm using the time I've got now at the park to do all the stuff that I, that I can't do in enclosed spaces so i'm just thinking ahead for the future just being a bit smart and i know obviously i want to improve it now but it's not the smartest thing to do because there's other things i can improve on now that i won't be able to improve on then when it's too dark so that's just what i'm thinking so i did plan to go to the park today um but actually my hip has really just started hurting ever since I got back from football training last night and I have no idea why I slept on it hoping it would get better and it did it's not as bad as it was last night it's quite painful so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the mat on the floor and do some stretches and do some like just recovery and try and make sure it's alright and if it is I'm not gonna go to the park but I will go outside into my garden and do some stuff but it's just very strange because I haven't had the problem ever before and it's just occurred out of nowhere. But we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll speak to you once I've done the hip stuff. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. All right, so doing those stretches definitely made a difference. I can feel like the pain or just the awareness of the slight discomfort in my hips minimized now. After that, there's a lot less a noticing of it and I feel like I could go outside and do something. I'm gonna wait just slightly because it's just started to pour with rain. So that's not gonna be great out there because it'll be quite slippy. But I will go out and do something later but I just now know that I need to before my games Saturday and Sunday and probably for the next few weeks just do some of those hip exercises before I leave for for the games in the morning. So yeah, I'll do that on Saturday and Sunday as well. And hopefully it won't hurt after the games.
pressing hard. Said I might be big in a game like she went and got them breast implants. I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance. I'm ready to eat up trap like I'm seated in a restaurant. Yeah. If you have swag like mine, you know it's best to flaunt. Yeah. Oh. We aren't hating because you aren't shining like it's neon. Drop like kings of Leon. Shooting stars across the galaxy. I stand out, so don't be mad at me. Infiltrate and wear my strategy. When I turn up, they know just how to lean. Shooting stars across the galaxy. Okay, so it's Saturday night, um, quite a disappointing day to be honest. We lost 4-1 this morning for Hawkehurst and it was just a mare really, everything about it, the whole trip. There are going to be actions made to try and stop that happening next time, but a lot of things about the opponents and the opponents pitch were very off. So. Yeah, obviously you can't blame it too much because we lost the game of football at the end of the day. But the pitch was n was nowhere near up to standard of what we should be playing on. I did play 15 minutes for the men's team afterwards and I played 15 minutes, came on for a sub. I think I had quite a good 15 minutes. Uh, I made a goal line clearance, which is always great, from a corner. And I was just like quite positive in the attack. So I think I was quite good just just seeing the game out because they were 4 0 up, but the opponents weren't that bad. It's just our striker was quite good, but they, it was just good to see the game out and yeah, so that wasn't too bad. But thinking about tomorrow with Langton, uh, Thanet Colts, don't know much about them, but hopefully it goes well. Alright, so Sunday now, just finished my game with Langton. You'll probably see it at the kickoff or something, but a uh, video analysis will come out sometime during the week. But a really good game. We played a team not quite at the level that we usually play. Um, it was County Cup, so they weren't in the Kent Youth League, they were in another league, and we played a team called Fanet Colts. We won 6 1. I did get a goal, I got a second goal, I won a penalty as well. But I should have got a second, as you'll see in the video. It was um, a very good chance and I bottled it a little bit. But luckily it didn't make that big, big of a difference. But if it was a big game, then there are chances I need to be taking. So I'm just a bit lucky today. But I think I played quite well. The passes I made were good. 
I have hurt my finger though. <laughs> I've landed on it awkwardly and it's swollen up, so I can't really use it much. But obviously that's the end of the video because it's Sunday. I hope you did enjoy. Like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching.